Today I've got a 2006 6.0 with diesel fuel and the coolant. It's caused the degas bottle to swell, the cap doesn't want to fit. So we got quite a bit of contamination. It usually comes from cracked heads or maybe possible the cups. So I want to go on a test procedure and show you what I do to replace the injector cups on these if that's what we find. Here's inside what the coolant looks like. It smells kind of like turp turpentine or, um, and diesel fuel, so it definitely has a unique smell to the coolant. But yeah, this is the visual, what you see, then let's go ahead and go a little bit of testing here. I wasn't able to find the leak 100% for sure um, on the vehicle. This one was pretty small. It, it, sometimes you get them, they're a lot worse and they're really obvious. I do show that in a previous video to where they're pretty bad and you can see the bubbles coming out. But with this one, I had to remove the cylinder head. I, I've taken the head off, sent out to the machine shop, and he found one of the injector sleeves leaking. So I asked the customer and he said, let's go ahead and replace all the sleeves. So I got online and from my favorite place there, I went to freedomracing.com and ordered a, uh, a tool kit to remove and do the injector sleeves. Now, uh, one of the things I want to mention, this, with this tool, it can be done on the vehicle. So if you can find out which sleeve's leaking, or if you want to replace all of them on the vehicle, this, with this tool, it's pretty handy because you don't need to remove the cylinder heads um, if you can verify which one it is. But on this one, it was, I, like I said, I had to remove it. Um, so a couple of things I want to focus on and mention if you do decide to do this on the vehicle we are tapping it to stain this still um, the, the, the procedure that would be different you need to plug on the bottom because as we get the shavings out inside there you don't want to have it uh, go on top of your pistons so if it's on the vehicle make sure you cap off the hole just use grease or something on there it'll work so let me go ahead and show you how this works what I did too from uh, freedomracing.com I ordered the whole kit. He has everything in stock. He has the, the tool. You can buy it or you can rent it from him. He has all the injector sleeves. So you can go ahead and get all the injector sleeves. They're genuine from him. And you can, he also sells the uh, O-ring kits to reseal the injector, which I'll show you here in a second. So it's a whole complete, I mean, everything. You just call up, get out on the phone, or, or get online, order the whole kit from him, and, uh, and have it all right at your front door and get it and just purchase it. So next time you need it, you have one. So anyhow, I'll show you here what it's, how we do it. With this, um, the tool, we're going to go ahead and put it down inside there. This helps to align it and keep it in the right position. So I set it inside the hole. It takes a 9 16 on top, and once we drive it down, it's going to be 11 16 So you want to bring it down. You can feel the resistance here. Put it in about three turns. feel the resistance pretty good so I, I put it on there and I back it off just a little bit and that's just to aid on the removal if you do that when you once you get the sleeve out it'll come out a lot easier so I go ahead I ran it down now I have my tap inside the um, inside the sleeve now I'm going to tighten the nut up here the 11 16 to to bring the sleeve up so I go ahead and use my socket here As you see, I was how easily that was able to remove the sleeve. Um, again, on the vehicle, really easy to do it, not have a problem. So now I have the sleeve out. A couple things I want to go over. Best way to do this to take your tool back out of there because it is on there pretty tight. I'll stick this in a vise, use a 5 8 wrench, and bring the tool back out of the sleeve and remove it there. Now, you also get the driver tool from freedomracing.com in the sleeves. The book Ford calls for Loctite 262 which is just a regular thread locker. The, um, uh, I, the, the You can use that type if you want. They also make a uh, sleeve retainer. This is actually made 
for a press fit type sleeve and it's good for a, for a heat and it's, it's a high, high temperature sleeve retainer. This is what I like to use but Ford does call for Loctite 262. A couple things you want to focus on. If you have any of the old glue, any of the old Loctite inside there, you need to remove it. You can scrape it out, you can use a wire brush, you can remove it, but these, they come out pretty clean. They, um, they don't leave a lot of excess on there like the 7.3s do, but do make sure that you have a clean bore because you want to have a seal, you don't want to do this twice. So anyhow, you just take your, um, your Loctite on here. You want to put it around the edges where it's going to be retaining, and we also need it to seal which is the top edge here and also on the bottom down here I put it around this lip anywhere it's making contacts where it's the press fit we want to put our Loctite on there to hold it and to seal it so now I have it on there I have it around the edges everywhere I need to be the bore is clean I'm going to go ahead and install it And you can hear it and it doesn't take a lot of effort so even if I was doing this on say number five and seven in the vehicle and I have done them on the vehicle you can still get them in so you just you can hear it just listen for the tone difference and there I have it bottomed out so it's locked in there so now I have this one in remove the tool it's pretty tight in there and now I have my sleeve inside there and it's ready to accept an injector. One of the things you will need to do is clean that up inside. It'll take a rag, clean out the excess Loctite before you install the injector or even before it dries up. You want to make sure you get all the um, extra Loctite out of there before we do the injector. Now just to cover how to reseal the injector, go ahead and open it up. You have all the uh, O-rings you need. Now what I do to get this bottom one, that's probably about the worst one to get off, I just take a razor blade and work it up. Just get the razor blade in between there and the injector. Of course be careful. There it's off. And what's pretty handy, I just take an 8 millimeter 5 16 socket and press it on. I just take it, push it down there and there we go now for here we have the white one on the bottom just take it take it off take a new one be careful not to pierce it otherwise you have some regrets I just work it down I try not to roll it on I actually just stretch it out go around it one extra time in case it did roll have it make sure it's in the right spot same way here with the top one just bring it off Replace it with your new one. And then the blue one goes up here where it seals inside the cylinder head. So go ahead and work this off. And put it back on there. Same thing, roll it on. Now, Make sure you torque your injectors down. This torques to 28 foot pounds, 26, 28 foot pounds. Just use a torque wrench on it. You won't have any regrets. If you're doing it on the vehicle, make sure that you don't have any oil inside your, your the hold down bolt hole because you'll get a false torque and you'll get a comeback uh, or a breakdown even on the road test. Did that a couple times so I realized I'm using a torque wrench on every one of these. So again, torque your injector clean up inside the bore here before the Loctite dries. It's, I'm going to get that all cleaned out and make sure it's all clean and um, good. And again, freedomracing.com for the tools. And the, you can do this on the vehicle. It's not a big deal at all to do it on the vehicle. You just have to make sure you find your, the, the one that's leaking or replace all four of them, but make sure the head's not cracked so you're not wasting your time and all the extra effort. So try to verify it. There's a few tricks on doing that. I showed that on the video. And if you can find it, just do it all in a vehicle. There you go. Thank you.